Hello, and welcome to CNN Student News with your host, Caitlin Olson. Today, we will be discussing the global issues regarding India. Over here, you will see a detailed map of the region with the country capital in red and all the state capitals in blue. Population growth. India is the second most populous country in the world, only behind China. The current population is 1.31 billion, and India is on track to surpass China as world's most populous country by 2022. The estimated population of India by 2050 is 1.7 billion. Urbanization. Every day, hundreds of Indians arrive, drawn to the metropolis from the countryside in hope of scratching out a living. Natural disasters in rural areas push more and more people into cities such as New Delhi each day. Increased needs. There's not enough space for humans and wildlife in India. The islands that make up the Sundarbans, which means the beautiful forest, are home to 4 million people. They are also home to 200 Bengal tigers. There's, meat, there's a need of more water. Water pollution is high and population is growing. A healthcare company believes they can distribute water to low-income households. There's also a need for more energy. 400 million people in India are lacking reliable electricity. The two main aspects of environmental degradation are water pollution and air pollution. While water in India has a lot of dangerous chemicals and surface water is polluted with pesticides and agricultural waste. 80% of all diseases in polluted water areas are caused by drinking contaminated water. New Delhi has the most polluted air in the world. Airborne fine particulate matter is considered unhealthy above 150. New Delhi's has gone over 500. The people of India are trying to fix it. 800,000 volunteers helped plant 50 million trees in only 24 hours. The declining resources are a major problem. Less and less there is less and less clean water each day. Water pollution is at an all-time high and population is growing e overnight. India is trying to make up for the few re resources they have. Some rural villages restored a 100-year-old irrigation system to increase plant production. And with more and more jobs to be done, but less people to work for very little money, there are more than 18.35 million slaves in India. Conflict in India's past. In 2002, there were fears of a nuclear war between India and Pakistan. And in 2004 to 2007, India suffered from the second most amount of casualties caused by terrorists only behind Iraq. The Affirmative Action Protest. Indian government reserves 27% of college slots and government jobs for people in the most deprived areas of India. A 22-year-old man started a protest because he was not deprived enough to get help. Discrimination. India versus females. Women are more likely to consume prenatal vitamins during a pregnancy if they know they are having a boy. And they are also more likely to get an abortion if they know they are having a girl. A 15 year old girl was found hanging in a tree. Officials say she had been sexually assaulted. Two men were arrested, but a lot of the time cases like these get thrown because they are against women. Castes are the fault line in India. Castes are social classes in India. The lower the caste you are in, the more discrimination you receive. Over here are, are pictures of women protesting. The top is a woman saying caste, off caste. And down here are little girls protesting, saying give us our education. Poverty as a, is at an all-time high in India. Poor families in India sleep in shacks made of cardboard and tarp. It is believed that because they do not get enough sleep, they can't work as well, making it nearly impossible to get out of the slums. The government is trying to help, 
Uh, the Prime Minister of India is now trying to help the underprivileged by using a Robin Hood technique, similar to taxes. The Indian government is taking money from the rich and giving it to the poor. Before you ask yourself, why should we care, how about asking yourself these questions? What happens when India cannot support the population? Where do the refugees go? Who is going to give India water and food when they run out for good? What happens when the conflicts in India spread worldwide? If India is having problems with discrimination, who else is? How is the rest of the world going to deal with poverty? India has the fastest growing economy on earth. Thank you for watching CNN Student News. Again, my name is Caitlin Olson. Vote for me to replace Carla Zeus. Have a nice night.